Okay, I thought I'd uh, show you a little bit about pressure flaking. Uh, volcanic glass sent me some really cool glass, and uh, I've already made one point out of it and shipped that thing out. But uh, I got this one here I saved for myself. And I'm going to show you a little bit about pressure flaking. I'm going to use this uh, antler tine with a uh, copper nail in it, an adjustable setting. Uh, you can use regular tines to do this work just as well. It just requires more uh, sharpening and uh, retouching. So here, before I do that, let me turn off the scanner over here because this thing always makes a racket when I'm trying to record anything. Okay, so let's start out. Uh, when, you, when you start out, you look for an area like where there's an angle that you can push in on. So I'm going to start right here. It's a pretty windy day here today, so if you hear a lot of wind noise, that's because we are getting a lot of wind here. So put my glasses on and get started. Okay, so hopefully this shows up well, what I'm doing. I'm just trying to take away a little bit of the edge. You can see the flakes that come off as a result. Just pushing gently here. And I'm going to do a zigzag pattern. What I mean by that is I'm going to take a flake, flip it over, and take another flake like this. This gives me a, an edge to work off from. Yeah, we're getting our January thaw here in the northeast, so temperature is probably going to get close to 45 degrees today and I guess later on in the week close to 50 so for us that's a big improvement again I'm just working this tip here a little bit taking a few flakes the winds howling away out there we got a little cold front going to blow through here but it's not going to really do much to our weather When you work with glass, you can go a lot easier than if this was chert. I'd have to prepare the edges just a little bit more. But uh, I'll do so much here and then I'll turn this back on as soon as I get a little further along and I can show you some of the secondary flaking I need to do. So what you see here is pretty much um, the beginning of coming down the sides. It's a rounded edge, so that's always a little more challenging, but that's where we're at so far. I'll, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I've got um, the one side done now. As you can see, I uh, zigzag my way down through here and right around the bottom. So I'm going to take a couple of thinning flakes here um, on the bottom. I just lightly grind it. I'm going to push those up in with this pressure flaker, if I can get a hold of it here. I like to rub my pressure flaker on there just to seat it. Okay, so that flake went from there all the way up. That helps to thin this thicker area. See if we can lay another one right next to it here. And again, that one went pretty far too. That one went just a little shy of that one. Take one more. So, with those three flakes, I'm just trying to flick off anything loose here. Those three flakes did take off one, two, three areas there. And that helps a lot to uh, thin pieces down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down from the tip again and uh, meet up with what I ended up here okay so start up here again you notice uh, a lot of times before I take a flake I'll, I'll rub it and then I'll push the flake well what I'm doing is I'm, I'm slightly abrading the edge here with the tip of this and then I'm pushing in on it which removes the flake Okay, let's zig our, zigzag our way down through here.
and this really doesn't take long to um, go down an edge like this. Now uh, you see I use my legs a little bit here. It helps me to push in and snap that flake off. See, I just see that and then as my legs tighten up, I can push that flake off. It's pretty sharp down here. I'm going to take a little of that sharpness off so I don't get cut while I work this. That feels better. You can hear my uh, flint flake wind chime. Uh, blowing in the breeze here in the background. It just shows you how windy it is. There's a one right there. I push that one in. It doesn't hurt at any time to go back. If you see something that's a little bit um, high and you want to take it off. But here's here's where we're at now. This is the edge I'm working now and I'm zigzagging my way down through there. So I'll get back when I get a little further and show you a little more of the secondary flaking I'll do. Okay I've uh, taken a series of flakes, real small ones like, like this, to raise this edge up because I want to remove some of this. As you can see there's a lot of the original flat surface left there and what I want to do so I want to push the flakes into that to give it more of a napped, uh, cleaner look and a balanced look. So I'll just take these little flakes off here, like this, and then give it a little bit of an abrasion. I'm just using a small little sandy stone. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in really low on the angle, right here, and just push that right in to it like that. That runs a longer flake. Let me go back here and get this first one to even it out. There we go. And as you see, these flakes now are going into this flat thin area and it's getting the more napped appearance. When you work with slabs like this, you do have to try to run your flakes as far as you can across the face. See this one here? Just took off that. Hopefully these will all meet up and there will be no original surface left. I'm just flicking these off. Inward pressure and then just give it a snap and it brings down that edge. So now you see Here's where I've napped out uh, the flakes to meet these from over here, and here's what's left to remove. So when that's done, I'll get back with you, and we'll see about finishing this point off. Okay, once I got started pressure flaking, I couldn't seem to stop, and before I knew it, this is what I ended up with. Right here. This is such a beautiful piece of glass. So once again, I got another survivor, and um, I probably should have showed more pressure flaking to you, but I wanted to show you how to start a piece like that and some of the flaking. And if you stick with it long enough, this is what you're gonna get. It's really, really, really pretty um, glass, that volcanic glass sent to my house here. Well, anyway, there'll be more next time. Hopefully, more detail. Thanks for watching.